Good morning! So today I was thinking to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna challenge myself because in the last video that I made I got this comment Have you thought about doing a budget video? Like trying to challenge yourself to eat on $200 I assume for one month. So $200 a month that is basically $6 a day and I thought that I'm gonna challenge me a bit more. So I'm gonna try to eat for less than $6 today. So I thought that was a really fun idea and I know that you're many that are asking for budget-friendly recipes and how to be vegan and eat whole food plant-based diet on a budget and if it's expensive and so on. So I think it's gonna be very fun to do this video and show you that it is it is not expensive, it, it doesn't have to be expensive to eat healthy and on a whole food plant based diet. If you want more of these kind of budget videos, leave this video a thumbs up so that I know. Or if you have like other ideas on another challenge for example, you can also write them in the comments down below so that I can read them and do another video. Okay, so back to today's video. It is basically gonna be like a regular what I eat in a day. So breakfast, lunch, snack and a dinner, but on a budget. So I'm just gonna finish my coffee and then I'm gonna get ready and then we start with the breakfast. Three simple ingredients for banana pancakes. I usually do them with plant milk, but to reduce the cost, I am using water. I'm using rolled oats. Oats are amazing. They're filled with fiber, protein, and they are very, very cheap. And last, we have the banana. The pancakes taste better if you use a very ripe banana. Mine is not very ripe, but that was what I had today. So I'm gonna roll with that. So these three ingredients are going into a blender and we're gonna blend. <laughs> and then we're gonna cook it on um, in a pan and then we're done. lunch I'm actually gonna make a creamy mac and cheese vegan mac and cheese when I showed you this one on my stories on Instagram you went nuts this one has no nuts it is very cheap and it is delicious a lot of recipes that I have made before or that are in my app that are a creamy pasta recipes or creamy pasta sauces are actually made with cashew nuts as a base but cashew nuts are like tend to be expensive at least in Sweden so there is another trick that you can use to make a creamy sauce without adding any nuts or any seeds so the base ingredients that I'm gonna use for this creamy sauce are two very cheap ingredients it is potatoes and carrots uh, important to use russet potatoes in Swedish it is mjöliga um, potatsa because russet potatoes has um, more starch uh, it means that they have less water so when you blend them and then you heat them up it will become more creamy than if you use like regular potatoes another ingredient that is a uh, um, key ingredient it is tapioca flour it is also called tapioca starch this will make the sauce like more uh, silky smooth it will become thick without it but if you add tapioca starch it will become more silky but it's actually optional you can do this without this ingredient tapioca starch can be hard to find um, but it is actually pretty cheap so i'm going with tapioca starch in um, 
in my recipe. While the potatoes and carrots are simmering until they are tender, I'm going to cook the pasta. I'm using whole wheat pasta, but you can use whatever you like. If you want this sauce even creamier, you can also use plant milk. I use Sprout, the unsweetened version, if I want pastas to be as creamy as they can. Okay, all right. Snacking fruit is always a great option. Apple tends to be like the most cheap fruit, at least in Sweden. If you want to make the apple more caloric dense or any fruit any more caloric dense, you can always add a nut or a seed butter. And the nut butters that tend to be more cheaper is peanut butter. But you can also make your own, as I did yesterday, your own almond butter. It's very easy and it costs less if you make it yourself than buy regular almond butter, but I also calculated that one tablespoon of this homemade almond butter is the same, almost the same as a tablespoon of bought peanut butter. I was thinking to go with peanut butter, but now when I have smelled this one, I'm gonna go with almond butter instead. So I'm gonna slice this apple up and dip it in almond butter. For dinner, I'm gonna make a recipe that is one of our long time favorites. When we first developed our app, this was the first, one of the first recipes that came out. And I love it because it is very easy, it is so delicious, and it is very cheap. <laughs> and it doesn't have many ingredients at all. It is just beans, so I'm using black beans and white beans. And then also crushed tomatoes, an onion, garlic, some spices corn kernels and also we're gonna serve with with brown rice and brown rice is also a great staple to have at home it is so cheap and especially if you buy it in bulk it's a great source of fiber protein vitamins and minerals and everything and it's also great to have like different beans at home because they never or they do get old but it takes forever so you can have beans in your pantry you can also have crushed or canned tomatoes in your pantry Brown rice is dry, so you can have it in your pantry for a long time. If you have those things, you can just easily throw together a chili, which I'm gonna do now. So while the brown rice is cooking for about 15 minutes, I will prepare everything else. And yeah, so this meal is also very quick. almost done. You may recognize this recipe because it is actually in my vegan on a budget meal plan in the app. So some of you may already have done it. And also I like to have greens uh, with my meals. So I'm gonna add some black kale. Uh, you can also have green kale but black or any kale works great in this recipe. So I'm gonna add these. <laughs> 